Hello, mate. Thanks for clicking on my video. You're watching Video Game Subscription Wars, the channel where I cover every game on every video game subscription to see which is most worth your wallet. And today I'm looking at the best first person shooters on EA Origin Access. Here is every FPS on EA Origin Access. Uh, and the good news is they're all part of the basic subscription. The only benefit for premier subscribers is that you get what's called deluxe upgrades, basically DLC packs, for Star Wars Battlefront 2 and a couple of the Battlefield games, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 1, which is kind of a strange choice um, for me because both of those games have newer versions in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 5 or V. So premier's additional £11 a month, at least for the FPS genre, isn't going to do very much for you. And the more I look at this, uh, I'm not sure what Premier's £14.99 a month price tag really offers. FIFA 20 and Madden 20 have both now moved to the basic subscription. So really the only games you're getting for the extra money are, uh, what's this, Star Wars Jedi, Command & Conquer Remastered, Need for Speed Heat, and A Plague Tale Innocence. And A Plague Tale you can play on Game Pass anyway for a cheaper monthly price. And that's kind of it. Anyway, that's a conversation for another video. Today we're talking about first person shooters. And if you want an FPS for the campaign, you've probably come to the wrong place. Um, there are a couple of good ones, Titanfall 2 and Superhot, which we're gonna cover, but most of these games are multiplayer focused. So don't expect anything special from the campaign. And in a couple of cases, don't expect any campaign whatsoever. So first, let's cover the couple of games that have a single player campaign that's worth playing. The original Titanfall blended single player and multiplayer, where online matches began with a few minutes of contextual dialogue to set the scene. It was trying to do something different, and I'll always credit that, but most people agreed that it didn't really work. Um, with no overarching narrative, Titanfall is essentially a multiplayer only game. Considering there's basically no one still playing the original Titanfall, let's jump straight into Titanfall 2. You're a rifleman for the militia basically one of the grunts that the real pilots treat like cannon fodder. Pilot simulations teach you the basics of movement and create a real sense of disappointment when you come out of the tank and realize your feeble limbs can barely muster a bunny hop. But your training is catapulted forward when your mentor, in his dying breath, promotes you to pilot and grants you the control of his titan. You set out to finish what he started, and a simple rendezvous soon unravels into halting a plot to destroy an entire planet with a futuristic weapon of mass destruction that distorts the fabric of space-time? The science isn't really explained, just accept and enjoy that you can wall hop and time hop simultaneously. Each level is carefully and cleverly designed to get the most out of pilot movement and titan combat. Crushing helpless enemies in your titan is great fun, but it's the setup for that moment where you slide across a rooftop and leap into your titan's open arms that feels really special. Controls transfer to pilot. Respawn Entertainment is one of the best at making movement an integral, energetic, enjoyable part of its games. Maneuvering from one side of the map to the other can often be done in one fast and fluid set of moves, flanking enemies that are still trained on your last position. You can approach the game like a standard shooter, and the AI has its moments. But I'm happy to let this pass because you play as a superior soldier who's supposed to move in the blink of an eye. The opening sequence explains a pilot's exemplary combat skills, but what truly separates them is the bond between a pilot and, and titan. titan. The evolving relationship between the pilot and the titan in the campaign and the mechanical connection you start to feel when you play Titanfall is what separates it from other shooters. The manipulation of time is a much larger factor in super hot, only progressing forward when you move. The two hour campaign is broken into levels each of which require fast reflexes and thinking ahead in order to clear. Super hot. Half my time playing felt almost like research, figuring out where enemies were going to come from and when, so I could eventually get that flawless run. Super hot. The campaign is only long enough to familiarize yourself with Superhot's mechanic. 
challenge mode unlocks afterwards, and that's where you can really hone your skills. But the story is still decent, routinely breaking the fourth wall to challenge the player's sense of control, which I think would have a much bigger impact in VR, and that thought frequently came back to me while I was playing this on PC. Grabbing a katana from mid-air to slice a guy in half and then hurl it at the next one doesn't have the same satisfaction it does in VR. And I say this having never played this game or any game in VR, but all you need to do is watch some footage to see that this is obviously the game's original intention. So, I don't know, I had a lot of fun playing, but it also made me want a VR headset, which is kind of a bittersweet experience. But I still recommend this, definitely. The Medal of Honor games enter this campaign focus section because, well, because there's no online anymore. Released in 2002, Allied Assault is much like every other World War shooter of the time. They were immensely popular back then, but the heavy action-oriented gameplay feels particularly dated as the focus has moved from man single-handedly takes down Nazi regime Can one man truly make a difference? to man and women rely on teamwork and determination to overthrow Nazis and maybe, I don't know, relieve some inner conflict? There's probably some inner conflict in there somewhere. I'm not saying that this is any better, I'm saying this did nothing to interest me 18 years later. As much as I miss vibing out too complicated by Avril Lavigne, it's not 2002 anymore. You could say Medal of Honor Airborne is better than Allied Assault, and I wouldn't argue with you. Parachuting into levels offers freedom in which objective you start with. Every objective involves shooting oblivious AI until they're all dead, though, so it doesn't really matter where you start. Also, something feels really off. Um, I can't put my finger on it. I initially played in 1080p Full HD, which the game said wasn't recommended, to be fair. I can see why. It's a complete mess. But then I switched to the native resolution, and it just felt incredibly slow and stodgy. Um, I'll admit I don't really like military shooters even if they're modern ones. So these games were never really likely to impress me. Good job, there aren't many more games like this to cover, I guess. The games that are left have campaigns that play second fiddle to the multiplayer, or in some cases, the campaign doesn't even make it in the orchestra, which is fine. It just makes them harder to review. So I'm opting for what I'm calling a real time review, uh, pattern pending. <laughs> Uh, multiplayer is best experienced in the moment, so I thought I would share my impressions, thoughts, uh, feelings on the game while playing it real time in multiplayer. Little disclaimer, I've never done anything like this before, so <laughs> the results could be a bit of a mixed bag. Um, but they'll be my honest thoughts, you can guarantee that, and also, well hopefully, a good indication of what the game's like to play right now in 2020. So, let's get into it. So this is Crisis 3. I have never played a Crisis game before, so consider this a on-the-fly first impressions. Didn't look at the tutorial or anything, we just jumped right in. Um, so one kill, I'll be, I'll be pretty content with. Here it comes. Nope. I feel like he's not uh, he's not taking it too seriously. So, I mean, is there anything else I can do? So you have your armor ability, which helps you sustain damage, and a cloak, which keeps you invisible. Ooh, got him. So we have a lobby with people actually trying now, which is a little better than the last one. Um, where there was like three of us just dicking around. Um, in this one, we got what we got like seven, seven people, and it's pretty fun actually. This is like a control the, uh, you know, domination kind of game mode. Oh god! Oh! Did you get me out of midair? Ooh, skeet shooting. Fair play. That was pretty fun, you know, um, with a proper balanced team. That was pretty good. Um, what I guess six. Oh, I mean, I got carried pretty hard. I think that's safe to say. But yeah, this is good actually. Um, so obviously, it's probably a kind of luck of the draw 
on a server you can find, and it's going to come down to timings. That was my shot. That doesn't look half bad. Um, I was playing. I'm not playing at peak times here, so you know if you were if you're playing at peak times, you're in your time zone. You might be able to find a game like this, um, and it is decent. It's good fun. Okay, so this is Battlefield 4 in all its glory, as I remember it. That's just how I remember it. it. Shot me through a wall. The problem with all of these is that I only I can only show the very base level loadouts because I'm not going to play all of these for the multiple hours it would take to our new weapons and stuff. That's not going to reach him. <laughs> I could shoot through the door. They have destructible. Ooh. Quick, 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 quick. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> These guys are just chilling. Yeah, okay. See, now that's kind of taking the piss a little bit. I am spawning and immediately getting shot at. Which no one, no one enjoys that. I think it's just because we're playing team deathmatch. You cannot choose where you spawn, and and you you know these guys. This, look at this guy. He's just waiting at the spawn. Knows people are coming and just kind of picking us off. So it's not super fun. Oh, got one. In all seriousness, I don't mind the kind of more close quartered stuff than the more recent battlefields. Like compared to Battlefield Five, for example, or Battlefield One. This is more close quarters, which I like. But it just means that, I mean, that if you're playing against people in a server who like played this game, have played this game for a long time, you're gonna struggle. Just land that shot, mate. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. So Battlefield Ford's great. Here's a frag. Here's a frag. Let's see this blow up. What kind of petrol station doesn't in a destructible environment doesn't blow up? Mm, brilliant. Police! Uh. That guy's taking some hits, to be fair to him. <laughs> Come on, man. It was armored. Was it that armored? I'm, I'm breaching. Yeah, grapple sauce, baby. Gra grapple sauce, baby. He hasn't seen me. He hasn't seen me. He hasn't seen me. Ready? Ready? I, I lost my advantage, I think. Maybe slightly. Or oh, he's just gone. Oh, look, it's just you that time. Don't scare me like that, bro. Get these guys off of me. I think I scared him. Scared him off. Hey, needless to say, I don't think he'll be back. He's back. He's back immediately. <laughs> How is he missing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ruined my fun. This is this is the police work that we've been sorely missing, to be honest. There are not enough police that I know of. Police academies use zip lines. It's just not usually the done thing, but, you know. Can I- I can kill him. Shoot him! You had a crossbow! As the last of these battlefields, we're on to Battlefield V5. Um, I am not including Battlefield 1 because it's basically the same, I would argue. Um, it is World War One, and Battlefield Five is World War Two, but I I don't think I can really tell the difference. I don't know. I don't like to. I wasn't there, you know. I don't like to. Uh, so this is the most recent. This should have the largest player base. I had no problems. I'm the first out of the plane. Okay, uh, I would jump if I knew how. Maybe this is scripted. Um. So we we I jumped straight into this game. This is. Grand Conquest, I think it's called. 
and um, it takes place over five in-game days apparently. Um, immediately getting shot. So let's see how it goes. I've gone for the medic class, we haven't been a medic yet. And already this gets more of a sense of cohesion. The other games I've been playing were just kind of like stick people in a server and see what happens, but I've started a game at the beginning, which is always good. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'll, I'll spawn on you. Are you in pain? Are you in pain or anything? How are you doing? You just... Oh, you're a medic too. Are you just chilling? Where did he get shot from? Oh! That didn't kill me. Didn't do any a, any damage whatsoever. Okay, so I mean, as you can tell, this game looks fantastic, as all the dice games do. Have some health, you We will shoot them on the beaches. Oh my god. That was awesome. <laughs> Never get tired of the uh, destructible environments in Battlefield games. But I do get tired of the gameplay. Which I think, having played all these games back to front, you kind of start to realise that they all feel pretty much the same. Just, uh, you know, with a different coat of paint, I suppose. Which isn't to say, which isn't to say that they aren't fun. Oh god. Uh, it's not to say they're not fun, but just for me, they get they get kind of dull a bit too quickly. But I think part of that is just the size of the battles you take part in, which are great for this type of game because they're supposed to have these crazy moments like that where. Just, there's so much going on and you're caught in the middle of it and you don't know what's happening but it also just means that th those moments are great but they come so irregularly and most of the time it's just walking around like this and then I'm either gonna sneak up on someone and shoot them without them noticing and then the same thing's gonna happen to me even with my elite flanking like there's always someone who is able to creep up on you and can kill you before you can react. Maybe that's not fair about always getting caught out. If you play it right, I'm sure, you know, and you work alongside your team as, like, infantry would, there's no reason you shouldn't get caught out. I think it's more because I get in these positions where I'm trying to flank people so I get behind enemy lines, so of course I'm going to be spotted pretty quickly. Oh, come on, that missed. You know, like, I was in the middle of five people there. There was no way I was going to uh, take them all down. Especially with a pistol. So this is Battlefront, the 2015 version, which feels kind of trivial to play because, um, you know, Battlefront 2 is also available on Origin Access. And I think it's done enough now to, you know, make this game kind of redundant. It's, this had some kind of questionable things. Looks great, you know, it did capture, does capture the feeling of being in a Star Wars game pretty well. But it just did some kind of questionable things, like using heroes has a cooldown, so you can't, but you basically can't stay as a hero, even if you play as uh, conservatively as possible. And only only using the you got me good. Only using the original trilogy. Um, and I have already played this. I'll be honest. Uh, I played. I recorded this, and all the audio got corrupted. So, <laughs> kind of pissed to be playing it again. But I wanted to give you. You know, this is one of the. Uh, I'm getting wrecked. This is one of the games on Origin Access. And one of the shooters on Origin Access. So. It needs to be included to give you the full idea of what it's like to play right now. And I couldn't find a 40-person game. 
Um, well, I could the first time I played. I can't right now because I'm playing much earlier in the morning because I want to get this out of the way. <laughs> oh, I can cap it myself. Got it. We are the area the I'm sorry if I seem a little downbeat. It's just I played all this yesterday. <laughs> and I really didn't want to have to do it again. I missed a standing target. Here they come. It's the last push. I'm gonna hide in this waterfall here. Oh, well, that's actually not bad cover. It's looking good. One of those. Yeah, boy. You didn't see me. You didn't see me. I actually did something. <laughs> and we got it. Okay, it's the one you've been waiting for, the one I've actually played, the one that's actually good, it's Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you're wondering why I'm not playing the original Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 from mid 2000s, um, it's because they're third person shooters, which breaches the FPS requirements of this video. I know that this can be played in third person, but I like to play it in first person because of the immersion. Yeah, you do. You definitely want to go first person for the oh god. Uh, so what? Uh, so I have I have this, which is pretty useful. Oh, miss! How did I miss that? There we go. Oh no. So I got a thousand points there, and I think you need four thousand for a hero. For Obi Wan Kenobi, which we can try and save up for. Obviously, once you get to that point, uh, the next problem becomes having one available to play as, which often isn't the case because people get to four thousand points way quicker than I can, um, and you can do the slightly embarrassing option for just waiting in the character select screen which is probably bad form but you know why do you play battlefront just play as jedi just play as obi-wan good thing about the clone wars content is they've got the same voice actors in from the show so obi-wan and the clones sound like they do from the animated show which is pretty cool there's a honestly a lot more to like about this game than you might think if you you know, were, oh god, if you were gutted about its release, like most people were. I mean, you can get it for, you play it for £3 a month, you can't argue with that anymore. Okay, we're almost at 7,000. So I could go for another one of, uh, one of these. <gasps> Here we go. Here we go, lads. I can just scare most of these people off and capture the point that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come here! Perhaps I've misjudged the situation. Oh, now I'm, I'm too far in. Damn. I went too far. Oh, you bagging me. Yeah, really, you, you should actually try and play objective as a Jedi. But there you go. That was a that was a glimpse of some Jedi action. <laughs> so I'm not sure how different this looks compared to the first Battlefront. I just feel like the map design is much better, and uh, there's more variety. Like you, you're not stuck on basically three maps like you were in Battlefront, the first Battlefront. Um, but I don't think, I mean, both, that's, that's not a bad thing because the first Battlefront and this one look great. Um, I think this one just better captures the feeling of being kind of a helpless infantry line soldier when, like, against all these <laughs> crazy leaping heroes and stuff. Which is what you want. And, I mean, design and sound and atmosphere play a huge part in that because it's when you get caught in these crossfires and Darth Maul sneaks up on you and stuff that this game is kind of at its best. 
Okay. What we want to try and do is get to 4,000 before... In this life, before these guys board. Because as this changes phase, they reset all the heroes and it's just... It's just fastest finger first on whoever can select the Jedis. Okay, how did we do that? We got 735. We may have enough, you know. I think we got to 4,000 in that life. So, this now moves to this ship. So they won that first phase, and it goes to this second phase. And if they win that, the game's over. If we win, it goes back to the ground, and you start basically start again. So these games can go on for ages. Oh, I got him. Oh, I did. <laughs> See, it's cheese, but I've lost out many times there. Okay, I'm going to play much more conservatively. I don't know Obi-Wan's moveset. Defensive rush, restrictive mind trick, all out push. See, now I'm pretty sure you can just defend with, with, as much as you want here. You can just, just kill people this way. <laughs> Even though the deflection animation doesn't look that good. Oh no, you do have a stamina bar at the bottom there. But it's much longer. Oh god. Get him, get him, get him! Come on, come on, come on. Hit him, Obi-Wan. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <gasps> this is actually one of the best things I've had with Obi-Wan. I'm usually terrible as a hero. Okay, yeah, this is going well. Way, way better than any Jedi life I've ever had, so. Right, I'm 11 now. Like, most of them go the way the first one did. I'm not really sure what that does, but. That was sick. It didn't kill him, though. Oh, oh God, it's grievous. The end. This is the end for you, my master. Damn. Well, only 400 points, but I guess you get far less for kills as a Jedi. That's that's probably all the battlefront you need. Jesus Christ. That's probably all the battlefront you need, I think. I'm probably not going to get a better life than that yeah i mean all that's left is to win so let's cut to the victory screen okay well i'm back a little earlier because i'm freaking yoda um gotta figure out what his abilities are this time so big old force push uh, dash attack and what does presence do oh heals himself that's op no no wait wait, wait. oh we're losing it oh we're losing it Oh, I'm going to lose all my time as Yodi. Flanking opportunity arises, I feel. Oh, fuck you, Grievous. I'm getting wrecked as Yoda. He's too small. Oh, I've done something wrong. I pressed develop console. <laughs> I opened the developer console by accident. And that might be game. <laughs> so that's Battlefront 2. Uh, hopefully that gave you a good idea of how it's actually become quite a good game. It's at least enjoyable. I mean, good is maybe... Your definition of good will uh, decide that. But it's fun to play. Uh, it's, it's easy to just pick up and play a couple games in. So that's all the FPS is covered on Origin Access. Well... If you were wondering where Apex Legends is, it's free to play, so I didn't include it in Origin Access. You do get the Battle Pass if you're a Premier subscriber, but I'm not, and I don't care, because I suck at Apex Legends. 
Um, so I didn't want to show you that. <laughs> I'll, I'll overlay a little example of what I mean right now. Um, it's weird. You think I love Titanfall so much, and that's also a game by Respawn Entertainment. You think I'd be good at this, or at least enjoy playing it, but I think just I dislike battle royales this intently, um, and I, uh, I just can't. I just can't play it. <laughs> I'm so bad. Uh, never mind. Barring Titanfall and Crisis, uh, all the Origin Access multiplayer games are dominated by dice titles, unsurprisingly. And out of the lot, I think Battlefield 5 and Battlefront 2 are quite clearly the best two, at least right now, um, because they're the most recent, I suppose. But they've also had a lot of updates and improving on since their launch, which is good for us. Um, because you can play these games, all of those, for three quid a month on basic. I mean, even if... Battlefield 5 isn't a £60 AAA title anymore, same with Battlefront 2. They're still very good games for, uh, you know, three quid a month. It's just, it's pretty decent. I'm uh, biased towards Star Wars, as you may have guessed. Um, but both of those games, both Battlefield and Battlefront, are quite similar, not just in title. They both make you feel like a small and expendable part of a whole, and they do that in these big beautiful environments with loads of just shit flying at you. It's really good fun. Um, I still probably enjoy Titanfall 2 the most multiplayer, but I didn't include an individual multiplayer bit of that just because um, this video has already dragged on for way too long. So on that note, I wanted to give this video a bit more of a let's play feel, and I hope that turned out well. Um, because I've covered still, I've still covered quite a lot of games, um, I wanted to give you a more genuine feel of what that's like, but I've still had to condense each video, each game's video down into a couple of minutes, otherwise this thing would go on for f***ing ages. Um, so, hopefully it turned out well. I don't know. Le please let me know, genuinely. Be honest and let me know what you think in the comments, because this is the first kind of video like this I've done. Um, I enjoyed it and I wanted to see if I was good at it which I think I am, all right? Um, or at least there's room to practice and I enjoy doing it, so I'm happy to do that. But if you still prefer the normal type of video where I have a script, like the first half of this video, if you still prefer that, if you let me know, if you think the two work together, let me know, or if you think I should do, you know, a, a traditional let's play in one video, or in one game, like Star Wars Battlefront, and like let it stretch out, let it go for 20 minutes uninterrupted, let me know, just let me know. Um, yeah, drop a comment down below to let me know. <laughs> I'm rapping now. This is all still a learning process for me and I wanna, I don't wanna just pigeonhole myself into one kind of thing. I wanna try different things, see what works, see what I enjoy, see what I'm good at and see what you guys like. Um, so this channel's content can be as good as it can be. And for that to happen, I need to know what you think about it. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, thanks for watching. Give a like on this video if you liked it. All that usual stuff that I'm not going to go into uh, because it's, I've gone on for too long. Even though in saying this, I could have just said it by now. So I'm just going to... The video's over. <laughs>